Close your eyes for a moment and journey back to a time when black and white images graced the silver screen, and Hollywood's luminous stars held an irresistible allure. Myrna Loy, with her timeless elegance and charisma, carved her name into the annals of cinematic history. A mere mention of her name conjures memories of an era where grace, wit, and charm reigned supreme. Perhaps it was a lazy Sunday afternoon when you stumbled upon a classic film featuring Myrna Loy. Her radiant smile and magnetic presence left an indelible mark on your heart. Or maybe it was an evening spent with loved ones gathered around the television, sharing laughter and tears as Myrna Loy's compelling performances transported you to another world. As we delve into the enigmatic life of this remarkable actress, prepare to be captivated by some lesser-known details that add depth to her illustrious career. An enduring legacy. From her early struggles to her transformation into one of Hollywood's most beloved stars, Myrna Loy's journey is a testament to the indomitable spirit of the silver screen. So, sit back and let the curtain rise on the fascinating facts about Myrna Loy, a woman whose talent and charm continue to inspire generations. Let her story remind us of the magic of cinema and the enduring impact of those who graced it. Myrna Loy, Hollywood royalty's unforgettable queen in 1936, amidst the glittering lights of Hollywood's golden age. Myrna Loy ascended to cinematic royalty when she was crowned queen of the movies alongside her co-star, Clark Gable, who was declared king. This royal recognition marked a pinnacle in her career, a testament to her exceptional talent and timeless allure. Myrna Loy, born Myrna Adele Williams in 1905, embarked on her Hollywood journey during the silent film era. However, it was in the 1930s and 40 seconds that she truly left an indelible mark on American cinema. Her performances in classics like the Thin Man series, The Best Years of Our Lives, and Mr. Blanding's Builds His Dream House endeared her to audiences worldwide. But it was not just her acting prowess that captured hearts. Myrna Loy's iconic visage, characterized by her distinctive brunette hair, and captivating eyes, found a particularly good likeness immortalized atop a stone pedestal. This statue, an embodiment of her beauty and grace, was a testament to her status as a Hollywood icon. Fast forward to 1991, during the 63rd Annual Academy Awards, Myrna Loy was honored with a Lifetime Achievement Award. This recognition was a fitting tribute to her enduring contributions to cinema. However, a twist of fate prevented her from traveling to Hollywood to accept the award in person. Despite this absence, her legacy loomed large over the ceremony, a reminder of her exceptional career that spanned seven decades. Myrna Loy's story is one of talent, elegance, and timeless appeal. She remains a beloved figure in Hollywood's history, a queen of the movies whose reign continues to captivate audiences to this day. Myrna Loy, the iconic Hollywood actress known for her roles in classic films like The Thin Man and The Best Years of Our Lives, has a lesser-known connection to a peculiar historical incident. In the early 1940s, Loy's home in Los Angeles faced an unusual situation. It was decapitated. This may sound bizarre, but it was a deliberate move to make way for urban development. Loy's house, located in the posh Bel Air neighborhood, was among the many structures in the path of progress when the city decided to widen the streets and expand the infrastructure. In order to accommodate this expansion, Loy's mansion was physically split in half, with the upper portion being lifted and moved to a new location. The lower part, however, was decapitated. The roof and upper floor were removed to facilitate the relocation process. The unique event left an indelible mark on the history of Loy's residence, and today, the property is enclosed by a fence, a constant reminder of the house's unusual journey through time and space. While Myrna Loy's acting career remains her most enduring legacy, her home's brush with decapitation is a quirky footnote in the annals of Hollywood history. As for her personal life, Loy was known for her civically engaged nature. Her commitment to social issues was evident as she was once detained by the police upon leaving a theater. This incident occurred during the 1930s when Loy was an outspoken advocate for civil rights. Her activism led her to attend a meeting related to labor and social justice, which drew the attention of the authorities. Loy's brief encounter with the police was a testament to her unwavering dedication to causes she held dear. In addition to her activism, Myrna Loy was recognized as a symbol of elegance and grace in the golden age of Hollywood. Her contributions to the film industry, coupled with her social consciousness, have left an enduring legacy. 
So, the next time you stroll by the fenced in remains of Myrna Loy's decapitated house, or watch one of her timeless films, remember the multifaceted actress who not only graced the silver screen, but also stood up for what she believed in, even if it meant a run in with the police. At Venice High School, in the middle of a small rose garden, is a statue that immortalizes the iconic actress Myrna Loy. This tribute is more than just a testament to her Hollywood legacy. It's a symbol of her enduring impact on the world of entertainment. Born Mina Adele Williams on August 2, 1905, in Helena, Montana, Loy would eventually become one of the most beloved and versatile actresses of her time. However, it was her time at Venice High School in Los Angeles that played a pivotal role in shaping her future. It was here that she honed her acting skills, participated in school plays, and developed a passion for the performing arts. The Rose Garden, where the statue now stands, was a place of solace for Loy during her school years. It was said that she often retreated to this tranquil spot to escape the pressures of adolescence and to find inspiration for her budding acting career. The garden's serenity and beauty left an indelible mark on her, and it became a place of fond memories. Myrna Loy's journey from the Rose Garden to Hollywood's silver screen was nothing short of remarkable. She made her film debut in 1925 and quickly rose to fame, becoming known for her wit, charm, and magnetic screen presence. Loy's acting career spanned several decades, and she appeared in over 120 films, including classics like the Thin Man series alongside William Powell. Her final public appearance was in 1991 when she received her Lifetime Achievement Award from the Kennedy Center Honors. It was a fitting tribute to an actress who had not only captured the hearts of audiences, but had also broken barriers by portraying strong, independent women at a time when such roles were rare in Hollywood. Today, Myrna Loy's statue in the Rose Garden at Venice High School serves as a reminder of her enduring legacy and the impact she had on the world of entertainment. It's a place where students and visitors alike can pause to reflect on the life and career of a Hollywood legend who found inspiration among the roses and went on to inspire generations of actors and film enthusiasts. In this quiet corner of Venice, Myrna Loy's memory lives on, a testament to the enduring power of art and the indomitable spirit of one of cinema's greatest stars. This article was, article was, article was, Myrna Loy, the legendary actress, holds a place of distinction in Hollywood history. While she is celebrated for her iconic roles in classic films, such as the Thin Man series, one of her lesser known achievements is receiving an honorary Academy Award in 1991. Loy's contribution to the film industry spanned decades, but it was her work in the early days of cinema that left an indelible mark. She appeared in the first feature film with synchronized sound, Don Juan, and in the following year, she graced the screen in The Jazz Singer, the first feature film to feature audible dialogue. These groundbreaking films set the stage for the modern cinematic experience we know today. In 1960, Myrna Loy made a significant personal move, one that would cement her connection to Manhattan. She relocated to the bustling heart of New York City and made it her home until her passing. Her presence in the city added to its cultural richness, and she became a beloved figure among the glittering lights of Broadway. Myrna Loy's legacy endures through her films and her impact on the world of entertainment. Her honorary Oscar pioneering work in sound cinema and her enduring connection to Manhattan make her a timeless figure in the annals of Hollywood history. Myrna Loy, the iconic actress of Hollywood's golden age, played a surprising role beyond the silver screen during Franklin D. Roosevelt's early administration. In a little-known chapter of her life, Loy became deeply involved in aiding the war effort by helping to run a naval chapter of bundles for Blue Jackets. In the early 1930s, Loy was already a beloved figure in American cinema. However, as the United States entered World War II, she felt a deep sense of duty to contribute to the war effort. It was in this spirit that she became actively involved in the Bundles for Blue Jackets program, a nationwide initiative aimed at providing essential supplies and comfort items to naval personnel stationed around the world. Loy's commitment to the cause was not merely symbolic. She worked tirelessly to raise funds, organize events, and encourage fellow celebrities to contribute. 
Her star power played a pivotal role in the program's success, helping to boost morale among the servicemen and women who received these care packages. Through her involvement in bundles for Blue Jackets, Manaloy formed a close bond with First Lady Alina Roosevelt. The two women shared a passion for humanitarian causes and worked together on various initiatives to support the troops and promote unity on the home front. Their friendship extended beyond wartime, with Loy often invited to the White House during Roosevelt's administration. Myrna Loy's dedication to her country and her efforts to support the military and boost morale during a challenging period in history demonstrated her multifaceted role beyond the world of Hollywood. Her legacy as an actress and a patriot endures, reminding us of the remarkable individuals who stepped up in times of need. In her commitment to both her nation and her craft, Myrna Loy remains an enduring symbol of Hollywood's golden age. Go, 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 go. As we bid adieu to this captivating journey through the life and legacy of Myrna Loy, it's only fitting to take a moment to reflect upon the profound impact she has had on the world of entertainment. Myrna Loy, a timeless star whose brilliance continues to illuminate the annals of film history has left an indelible mark on our hearts. In the realm of cinema, Myrna's performances were nothing short of masterful symphonies, each note resonating with a depth of emotion that could stir the very soul. Her grace, charm, and unmatched versatility allowed her to effortlessly navigate the diverse landscapes of comedy, drama, and everything in between. Whether she graced the silver screen alongside William Powell in the Thin Man series or brought tears to our eyes in the best years of our lives, Myrna Loy's talent knew no bounds. Now, dear reader, it's your turn to shine the spotlight on your personal connection with this cinematic luminary. We invite you to share your cherished memories and thoughts about Myrna Loy's performances. Was it her infectious laughter that brought joy into your life? or perhaps her poignant portrayals that tugged at your heartstrings. Your stories and reflections are the threads that weave the tapestry of her enduring legacy. As we wrap up this journey, let us express our profound appreciation for Myrna Loy, a star whose brilliance continues to shine brightly in our hearts and on the silver screen. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic voyage through the life and times of an entertainment icon. Your words and memories are the true testament to the lasting impact of Myrna Loy, and we are grateful for your time and interest in celebrating her remarkable career. Farewell, and may Myrna's legacy continue to inspire generations to come. To come. To come.